everybody. Today's recipe is jajangbap, black bean sauce over rice. I'm going to use just only a few ingredients, so yummy. Let's get started. First, I'm going to show you this black bean paste inside. When you see, this is like a you know, plastic bag in the filled with some black sauce. Very, very salty. So we are not using any salt today because it contains a lot of salt here. There are two kinds, just black bean paste and roasted, pre-roasted black bean paste. I always use just the real original black bean paste, not roasted one, because I can roast at home. <laughs> Why not? In Korean, chunjang. So you need this chunjang to make this delicious dish. So I'm going to use this only two, two vegetables, cabbage and onion. Eight ounce, eight ounce. Get rid of this core. Rinse this quickly. Sometimes I see that, you know, between these leaves, black stuff is there. We gotta always check inside. I'm going to cut this. And onion. Just chop, chop this up. And I use pork, one pound. So kind of this recipe is a lot of protein inside. So just one pound pork, pork shoulder. You guys can use also pork belly. Quarter cup black bean paste. I'm going to kind of stir fry black bean paste and it's going to be really make them more rich flavor. This is serious jar because it's very salty. If you add more than quarter cup, it's going to be too salty. So you need to really follow the measurement. Heat up small pan. So about one tablespoon cooking oil. Over medium heat, just a stir together. And you will feel kind of a smells really already good when this is roasted in oil. Okay, turn off. I cooked around two minutes. And then the smells all suddenly change, kind of really sweet smell. But usually, at this point, I add sugar, but I just skip it. So because I want to be healthy. <laughs> if you don't mind, you guys can use one teaspoon sugar together. So without sugar, it's still very tasty. And then, almost done. <laughs> so let's cook this, guys. Let's heat it. Medium high heat. I don't use any oil because this meat has fat. Black pepper around a half a teaspoon. Keep stirring until a little crunchy. I cook this five minutes and this one, just the onion and cabbage together just to add. Smells really good. Then let's add this jajang, the roast jajang. 
There's the stir. Then we're going to add one cup water. You see some leftover on the bottom. So turn down the heat to medium. And close the lid. Make it kind of a little sticky. I'm going to use this starch. It's a potato starch. Maybe around one tablespoon. And water, one tablespoon. Mix. I just cook this six minutes. Taste if the pork is tender and also cabbage is cooked. Let's taste the pork. Mmm. Delicious. Starch water. Yes. Last touch, sesame oil, turn off. I see, very juicy, smells so good, flavorful. I gotta eat with my kimchi, gak kimchi, mustard green kimchi. Nice, juicy. I made rice. Today I showed you my version Korean jajangbap black bean sauce over top of rice. I guarantee this taste. Enjoy my recipe. See you next time.